In this video, we will look at integration of 1 over x and 1 over ax plus b. You will find this on page 522 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's start. Integration of 1 over x and 1 over ax plus b. So in chapter 7, we learned that ax plus b to the power n is 1 over a n plus 1. Okay, so 1, we take that n, we add 1, and we um, multiply it with 1 over what, what stands in front of x. Okay, not front, in front of x. Okay, and then we <clears throat> basically just going to say ax plus b, and it's going to be we add the exponent there. Okay, n plus 1 plus c. And n was not negative 1. Now, let us look at the case where n is equal to negative 1. How do we find the integral of 1 over x? Recall that chapter 11, we learned the following rules for differentiating logarithmic functions. When x is bigger than 0, d over dx ln x is 1 over x. And I took it out of the summary of chapter 11. Can you remember? If we differentiate, we get 1 over x. Okay. And for ax plus b bigger than 0, if we're going to differentiate this, we get a over the constant ax plus b. Look there, a over ax plus b. That was if we went from this side, differentiate to that side. From this side, differentiate to that side. Now, integration is the reverse, going back going back okay so since integration is the reverse process of differentiation the rules for integrating exponential functions are as follow okay so if it's 1 over x look there then it's going to be ln x plus c and if it's 1 over um, ax plus b okay then it's going to be 1 over a okay so just remember i'm here Hmm, did I write? Oh, it was this one. Now it's this one. Then it's 1 over a ln ax plus b. Okay, so basically plus c. But we will look in the example. But ax plus b, that, that must be bigger than 0. That must be bigger than 0. But let's look at an example of 2. Okay, let's look at this example. Integrate each of the following and state the values of x for which the integral is valid. Okay, so in this case, you can take the third in front, that's the constant, and then it's 1 over x. And then you integrate it and it's ln x plus c. And this 3x must just be bigger than 0. Okay, so actually x must be bigger than 0 because if you divide by 3. Then if we look at this one, Again, what I did is I moved the 5 to the front. Do you see? Then I come to this rule. And this rule say 1 over a. a is the value in front of x. Okay? And then it's 1 over 4. And then lin that bracket. Lin that bracket at the bottom plus c. And then this, this must be bigger than 0. So it's 5 over 4 lin plus c. And this if you simplify this, um, the 3 goes over, negative 3 divided 4, so x is bigger than negative 3 over 4. Okay, and then number c, as again, you can take the 6, but now remember in front of x stands, and, and always remember to grab that sign, negative 6. So it's 1 over negative 6, then this plus c, and this must be bigger. So actually, I could have simplified this, but let me just simplify this, and maybe I will do it in the reprint. Okay, so it's bigger than negative 1, and as soon as I divide by negative 6, then x is smaller than 1 over 6. Okay, but it's valid for that. Okay, well, there, x is smaller than 1 over 6. I showed you the final there. Okay, and I showed you how to get that. I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do number A and number C. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, number A. So it's going to be 5 over x dx. Okay. So this one is going to be very easy. 
So you can, you can rewrite it as 5 and then 1 over x. Oh, let's just get that pen correct. Okay. 1 over x dx. And that's going to be 5 lin x plus c. And don't forget that x must be bigger than 0. Okay, that was number A. Let's do number C. Okay, then it's 3 over 7 minus 9x dx. And you can rewrite it as 3, okay, 1 over 7 minus 9x dx. Okay, and now this is going to, if I'm going, I will now write the white for you down. So, in this case, it's going to be now, so let's just quickly look at this, this one. So, it is going to be 3 over 1, multiply 1 over that negative 9. Remember what I said, it's the value in front of x, okay? And then, it's going to be len, and then it's, 7 minus 9x plus c. And that is going to be 3 over negative 9, so it's going to be negative a third lin 7 minus 9x plus c. That's the answer, okay? And But then don't forget that 7 minus 9x must be bigger than 0. So negative 9x is bigger than negative. And as soon as I divide by negative, what happens to the sign? It's swap. And it's 7 over, over smaller. So x is smaller than 7 over 9. And that is my final answer.